What do you want? And don't try anything funny. You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the Elder's name and that passphrase. Very well. I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now, after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. The facility was run by the NCR for a time, but the prisoners overcame their guards and now use the prison as a base from which to conduct raids. What puzzles me is why these men have been allowed to run wild for so long unchecked. Why has the NCR not retaken this place? Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends. Approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. Then I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Caesar's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win, but that has not happened. Instead, the two sides have reached a stalemate, and only occasionally send skirmishers against one another. If I didn't know better, I'd say neither side is confident enough to push for a full victory. Which seems strange given the NCR's technological edge. In any event, I've recorded my findings in this report. Please deliver it to the Elder. 
I'm sure he will find the contents most interesting. Don't take another step if you value your life. For what purpose do you approach me? Strange that the Elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. The NCR has forces in all directions, and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders, which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. Whoa!
Have you had any luck finding the scouts? Or did you have something to discuss? Good, let's take a look. Hmm. If I'm reading this right, it appears that the NCR's grip on this region is nowhere near as firm as I thought. I'll have to review these in detail, but these reports have given me much to think about. Thank you, Outsider. You've become someone I can count on, so I believe I can share something rather confidential with you. I would like you to find the components we need to fix this bunker's air filtration system. I cannot overstate the importance of this task. See Senior Knight Lorenzo for the details. He's the one who brought the matter to my attention, and the only other person who is aware of it. Hmm? Oh, you must be the outsider everyone's buzzing about. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lorenzo, senior knight and general handyman around here. So now I'm going to have your death on my conscience too? Great. You think you're the first person the Elders trusted with this? He sent three of our patrols out looking for those components and they're all dead. I was the one who supplied the Elder with the location of possible sites where we could find the components, so their deaths are my fault. And now it's your turn. Well, don't say you weren't warned. I won't take the blame when you die horribly. But I can tell you're getting impatient. The items I'll need to keep the system running are a differential pressure controller, a reverse pulse cleaner, and several HEPA cartridge filters. At present, my best guess for finding the items would be to search any of the old vaults in the area. Those vaults were usually built much like these military bunkers, even using the same contractors in their constructions at times. I'll mark the vault's locations on your map. Best of luck to you. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. You might be onto something. I like to hang on to any weapons mods I run across. Take a look.
Later. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Yeah, guess the roads must have been long then if you forgot where you started from. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family, whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? And? You think? Well, good then. That puts me a little more at ease. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Just wherever the wind takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world, looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Aw, you really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. But, okay, my offer stands, if we run into each other again. A face-to-face -face meeting with House, huh? NCR would kill to be in your shoes. If that's what you think. All right. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. See you around. Couldn't get enough of talking to me the first time, huh? Good. I'd hoped you'd come around. Shall we? Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well... Thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Welcome to the 188 Slopping Shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. You bet. Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. How can I help you? Have a look. Bye. You a merc? 
because you don't look like a prospector. Hell yes, sir. Well, not officially. Not anymore. They mustered me out a year ago. Administrative discharge. Staff Sergeant, 3rd Platoon, Bravo Company. I was at the dam when the Legion hit us three years back. That was a shitstorm, and don't let anybody tell you different. The brass try to play it down, but most of them were back at McCarran. I didn't. My CO ordered me to flog a couple deserters, and I told him to eat shit. So they kicked me out for insubordination. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. Going home didn't feel right. Not with those savages camped on the other side of the river sharpening their knives. And I still get to see my old platoon when they pass through here. Make sure the new CO is treating them right and sneak them extra ammo. Anyway, I was always complaining about the standard issue gear. The new kids don't even get body armor. Can you believe that? So I hooked up with a couple other vets, bribed a gunrunner. Now we're supplying grunts, mercs, and anybody else on our side. We don't make much, but at least we're saving lives. Sure, no problem. I believe that the fiends are gone when they stop their raiding and pillaging. I believe.